In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a round video clip that can be either used over a plain background or over another video. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Blender. A couple of links to my beginners tutorials is included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. If you want to create a round or any shape video in Blender, unfortunately your first thing you'll have to do is create an image with a plain background. Now I've included a link to my beginner's tutorial for doing this in GIMP. I will also show you how to do it towards the end of this video in Blender. Okay, well I'm just going to bring in a couple of video clips. So I've set this up to navigate around here, so let's have a look, see what we got. Okay. Now the video that's gonna go on the top will be the bottom video in the tracks here. So this is a video I want to convert to a round video. So I'll just bring this in and I'll just set it up so that it matches up to the length in the timeline. So that's all done. Now I'm going to just left click on the audio track and delete it. Okay, so this is the video I want to create or convert into a circle. So I'm going to drag the circle into the timeline and again up here there's a box that will say length you'll need to marry this up to match the length of your clip and with this selected if you look there's a box that says alpha over just left click on this and left click multiply and this will happen I'm going to go back to my videos and I'm going to use this one as the background so I'm going to drag this one over the top and again I'm going to remove the audio and select the clip and this time I'm going to left click on cross and then alpha under and you're good to go and that's all there is to it really I won't go into rendering and whatnot but I will now show you just if you don't want to go into GIMP I'll show you how to quickly create a white circle in Blender okay so you're in Blender now I'm going to just very quickly set up the keycast so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to remove this cube, so just press X on your keyboard, then left click on delete. I'm going to go into top view by pressing 7 on my numbers pad, and I want to align the camera up to this view. So if you come up to view, left click on this, and next to align view left click align active camera to view now if you hold down shift followed by A next to mesh left click on circle left click on the little arrow next to add circle and just increase the vertices because you'll end the, the, this circle is made up of lots of lines so take it up to something I don't know take it up to something like 100 Now if you press S on your keyboard and move your mouse you can increase the size of your circle. Now if you press tab on your keyboard this will take you into edit mode and then just press F for fill. Press tab to go back into um, object mode then come to the very left hand right hand side of the screen and look for the materials button this is like a little world left click on this left click on new 
and then I'm going to change this um, surface from principled BSDF by left clicking on it and I'm going to left click on emission and then just left click on the white bar and make sure that it's pure white and once you've done that all you need to do is come up to render and left click on render and left click render image and sorry I forgot something there. there's another setting you need to do so I'm just close this down um, in the render box this is the one that looks like the back of a camera there's a little arrow next to film left click on this and where it says all for sky left click and left click transparent I go back up to render sorry about that left click on render and then render image and this will render an image with a transparent background now all you need to do is left click on image and then save as decide where you're going to save your image give it a title call it what you want and then left click save as image a couple of times and you should find that you've got an image with a transparent background that you can use hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers